All right, welcome back. Uh, Gail Thoreau Clark is here. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. You brought some guests. Who do we have I here? Did. We have Annabelle Blue, AKA Annie Bluebell. Okay. And this is Carnation Lily Rose. All right. Yes. Uh, we're here to talk about the adventures of Eloise Violet and Madeline Rose, yes. the island. Yes. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, let me first tell you about Eloise Violet and Madeline Rose. They were my two first French Bulldogs. And I um, came up with their names because I'm a painter. And I wanted all the dogs to have somewhat of a French name. And then the middle name had to be a color uh, and a flower. Okay. Hence, Eloise Violet sure. and Madeline Rose. And Madeline Rose and Eloise Violet were so funny. Well, these guys are funny. If you've ever had a Frenchie or been around a Frenchie, they're just hilarious. Okay. So I thought, oh my gosh, there's got to be a book in here. And I live on the Royal River in Yarmouth, and I live across from an island. And uh, Eloise and Madeline escaped from my house and crossed the river to the island. Oh, why? So it is somewhat of a true story. Yeah. And uh, what I wanted to emphasize was the animals they met, the main animals. They meet a blue heron, they meet a gopher, they meet deer, beavers, uh, porcupine, and just the adventures that they had on the island. And they do get in some trouble. Of course. But they do get home safely <laughs> in the end, safe in their bed like all good children's books. Yeah, sure. Uh, there's a look at the the, uh, the beautiful picture, which yes. also uh, yes done by you. Yes. Uh, primarily, I'm a painter. Uh, I have a bachelor's and a master's degree in painting. and. I just thought that these dogs were so funny. They mm -hmm. really deserved a story. And I wanted the illustrations for the books to be almost like a painting in themselves, each finished illustration. And I picked bright, bold colors because children like that, children of all ages. And I just wanted it to be happy and cheerful and just uplifting. I think whenever you uh, put pen to paper and you write a story, I don't know how you handle it, but you always are maybe aware of what the critics say. You did have one, uh, I don't know, critic, but uh, one person gave you some pretty solid feedback on the, your work. Yes, she did. I sent a copy of my book to Martha Stewart, who also has French Bulldogs, and she has a place in Maine, so I thought, well, maybe Martha could relate to my book. Mm -hmm. And she sent me a very nice thank you note telling me how much she enjoyed my book. Oh, well, that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, I was very pleased. Ah, I could I could understand why. If people uh, want to know more or purchase the book or know more about you, where can they go? What should they do? They can go to my website, gailclark.com. The um, book is also in many independent bookstores in Maine, so they can go to their local bookstore and uh, hopefully purchase the book there. Awesome. Gail, thank you so much. Yeah. Such well-behaved pooches here. Yeah, well, yeah. they're therapy dogs. They, uh, hopefully, they're well-behaved. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, you gave them a little treat, and next thing you know, everybody's uh, staying at attention. Right. So, well done to everybody involved. <laughs> Thank you so much.